Salutations, ladies and gentlemen. The Knife Raven here, back again with another video. And in today's video, I'll be taking a look at a knife that I haven't really spoken about in a long time. And that is this. This is the Duke Duke. Now, the Duke Duke is a very interesting knife from France, first made in Thiers. This knife has a interesting history that dates back over 100 years, and the knife is a very simple design. It's been uh, widely known around the world, similar to that of the Mercator, which was my last video. And I originally bought this knife around two years ago, and maybe just a little less than two years ago, and I quite, quite liked it at the time. When I first bought it, I thought it was a good knife. And I enjoyed it overall. However, as my taste in knives became a bit more picky, I started to realize there were more and more flaws with the knife, and I began to actually, well, have issues with it. And because of this, I, I kind of never really talked about it again because I wasn't a fan of it. However, now it's been a while, and... I kind of took it out again because I was getting back into the folded metal style with the Higo no Kami that I bought not too long ago. And this is very similar to that. I'm going to do a comparison video between this, the Higo, and the Mercator fairly soon. But in the meantime, this particular model is a little bit special. It's been customized a bit. So I'll do a very quick overview on this. Again, a bit more detail in a later video when I compare the three. But to start, the blade is XC75 carbon steel, which takes a very nice edge, sharpens up well. Uh, typical European carbon steel. You have a folded sheet metal handle, which was painted black, with a little loop for a lanyard. It's a little plastic bit here so that the knife doesn't get blade wrap. However, unfortunately, the pin is in the way, which means it's very possible to still get chipped blades anyway. The knife is a slip joint featuring a very strong spring. You have to walk it down because again, even after sharpening it, there's still a very tiny little chip there that I'm going to have to smooth out. But the spring is very strong. Not quite Arthur Wright Barlow levels of strong, but easily, I'd say, uh, probably a nine. So very nice, strong back spring. It's an integral which means the spring is inside the handle. And overall, the tension is very good. It takes a lot of force to actually get it to close. And it snaps very well. The walk and talk is great. With a bit of oil, it goes a long way. Again, the handle has the, the, um, the Duke Duke on it. I believe that is what uh, this is called. I don't know much about the lore behind this particular character, although I can say that these are very popular in some of the French colonies, I remembered, and that's where it became really famous, and it was an inexpensive knife, so the Cognet family shipped these from Thiers out to the colonies where it became extremely popular, similar to the Okapi from Germany. But, again, has Duke Duke, and then model de Posse. And here on the blade, there used to be a kind of, you can sort of still see it, not to the same degree, but it says Duke Duke, and there's some embellishment in the blade. However, this, a little story behind it, is blued. This is a blued handle and a blued blade. And the reason I did this was because Part of the handle, when I was removing some rust on it, because it had gotten a bit rusty, this is carbon steel, you have to oil it, uh, there had been some there had been some rust, and to remove it, instead, we'd remove the paint, and then it looked all ugly. So instead of putting another coat on, um, this is some gun bluing, and I think it turned out extremely well. The handle is slightly different in coloration to the blade. The blade has more of a reflectiveness to it, but... It's a very interesting style, and it's a it's all it, it brings a layer of 
of class that the knife didn't really have before, at least to me. I personally like the finish, it's very smooth, and again, if you've got any bluing, you can do this at home. But four finger grip, fairly comfortable handle, although while it is comfortable in shape, one of my main complaints originally when I became more picky about this knife was the um, the poor sanding. It's quite rough on the inside, which means it's a little uncomfortable to hold. But if you just put a bit of uh, sanding work here, and again, you sharpen up the blade and oil it, the knife should function very, very well as a working knife. There is a smaller version, which I don't yet have, called the Duke Duke Petite. For those who are interested, um, that is a smaller version. I believe a UK legal version. This one is sadly not. Uh, the blade is over three inches, if I remember correctly. You can see, oh, inches are over here. You've got a overall, well, just the cutting edge, it's about three and a quarter, and overall it's over three and a half. So this is very much a UK, well, this would not be legal in the UK, eight inches overall and about four and a quarter on the handle. So not UK legal, but the petite version is. Non-locking knife, half stop, strong spring, carbon blade, easy enough to sharpen, easy enough to use. Requires a bit of extra finish unless you want an uncomfortable handle. Um, looks fairly elegant and has a bit of history behind it. Um, sadly, it's used by Algerian death squads. There's that too. Not a detail I'm uh, happy about either, but you know, just like the Mercator, it has its fair share of some uh, dark history. But nonetheless, it's a good knife. And this is a very short video. I'm trying to keep my videos a bit shorter than usual. Normally they're very, very long. But I've been thinking lately of condensing them down with a little less rambling. So this has been my re-review of the Duke Duke. And I've got to say, getting past the, the cosmetic uncomfortable handle and such... The Duke Duke is a nice knife. I acknowledge it. I still like the Mercator a little bit better, but we'll have to see. I'm going to compare all three of them, the Higo, the Duke Duke, and the Mercator in my next video. So stick around for that if you're interested. But in the meantime, yeah, I do like this knife. Not my favorite by any means, but I'd give it a solid 7 out of 10. So, without further ado, um, I'll sign off. Thank you very much for watching. This has been the Duke Duke by Cognet. And this is the Knife Raven, as always, signing off. Goodbye.